The results for round nine for the Premier League. Some pretty big results here. Can Cumberland doing well getting over the top of Panthers 4-1 with Zerillo and McDonald both scoring a brace and Cook scoring for Panthers. That was a big win for Cumberland because they really needed that one. Uh, Pirates 2, Enfield City nil. I don't think there was a bit much of a surprise here because Pirates have been the informed team. Skeffington and Ailing scoring for Pirates. Norlunga nil, Adelaide Comets won, so only the one goal in that match by Demopolis and another win by Comets, so that moves them to the top of the table. Uh, Western Strikers and Adelaide Cobras uh, drawing one all with uh, Aylor Bulebeck. He's just been in for a couple of weeks and he's been scoring all the goals for them and a, a new signing for Cobras Margaritas doing the job as well for them. And Adelaide Hills, shock loss this one, Adelaide Hills nil, Adelaide Olympic 2 with uh, Guillermo Relos and Jovanovic again. Jovanovic is on that score sheet every week, Donald. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's a rare striker. He is a natural striker. Whether he's in the game for, well, he's not in the game for a long, long periods of time, yet he can come up with a flash of brilliance. He's very, very good over a 10-yard period. He's got a good left foot, and his heading ability is second to none in that particular uh, division. I think he's a very, very good player. If they keep, Adelaide, keep him quiet, Adelaide Olympic will be quiet. But uh, the team that's caught my eye really has been the Adelaide Hills. You know, they're a team of, uh, don't say the word nobodies, but nobody's very well known except the coach, Stevie yeah. Maxwell, who's mm. outstanding, of course. And I think they've achieved fantastic. The Comets, what can you say about Dougie Parson? Taking the te team up from third division, now he's the top of the second division, and Dougie's doing a fantastic job. Whether they can go all the way, well, it's only a matter of time. And I keep saying this, uh, Simon. The Comets, Adelaide Comets as a club are run very professionally. They've got everything worked out, they're very organised, everything is done tip top and it's great to see them being rewarded by uh, being up the top of the table there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, their, their hard work is obviously paying off, although uh, Dougie would be telling him they're only halfway through the year and uh, I'm not sure if that aspirations of, of going from the State League to the Premier League to the Super League within consecutive years, but they're on the way to doing that. Uh, on Adelaide Hills, I mean, I think it's it's a real must for the for the Super League to have a club uh, to have the Adelaide Hills represented. It's such a big region, mm. and uh, I really think with uh, with a bit of um, with a bit of PR that the Adelaide Hills, if they were to get up, they can probably get some really good support and uh, you know a really good supporter base up there. So who do you think, Donald? Who do you think at, at this stage of the season? I know it's still early, but who would be your prediction that would be going up? <laughs> That's a tough one because if you look at Western Strikers, Cumberland and Cobras, mm. all of all three of them have played nine games, have won three, drawn three, and lost three. So I would say at this stage, I was uh, as a sleeping giant. I would think the Pirates will make a late run. Mm. I think they'll be there again, and they'll be definitely in the top five. Cumberland, I definitely think Nick Panzaris, who's done a fantastic job, will get them in the top five. And the teams above them, as I say, the, the Comets and the Hills and the Olympic. Well, if somebody asked to ask me an out-and-out -out winner of the league, I'll say Comets. Mm. Because they're a w very well-organised team. They've got a good coach. They've got a lot of good players. The one thing that may let them down is discipline yes. or lack of discipline. Mm -hmm. If you're getting players sent off at random, you're letting your coach down, you're letting your club down. And unfortunately, I think that's becoming far too frequent with a lot of the clubs and that, that's costing them more dearly. Most athlete. definitely. Um, Simon, if you'd like to call out the <coughs> uh, table after round nine for the Premier League. Sure, we've got Adelaide, Adelaide Comets on top with 19 points, closely followed by Adelaide Hills on 18 points. Uh, in third spot, Adelaide Olympic on 17, uh, the Pirates on 15 points. Western Strikers make up the five on 12 points on goal difference from Cumberland United and Adelaide Cobras who are on 12 points. Uh, Norlunga United on eight points. Uh, the Panthers are on seven points and Enfield City bring up the table somewhat surprisingly on five points. Yeah, definitely. I think they've been the surprise of the season because everyone was predicting them to go up and they just haven't been performing. Mind you, they've been playing well but not being able to score. As we can see, only eight goals being scored and you need to score more than that to be able to win matches and, and, and make their way up. So let's look at the fixtures for round 10 for the Premier League. Uh, some big matches again. We've got uh, Adelaide Comets and Panthers at Santos Stadium. Three p These are all 3pm matches here all during the day. Western Strikers are up against uh, Enfield at Carnegie Reserve. Adelaide Olympic are taking on Norlunga at uh, Thebben and Over. Now, I, I ask that you do check that uh, fixture because mm. they have been changing them. I have no advice that it's a reverse fixture, but I do ask that you check your FFSA website for that one in case that's changed to Norlunga. 
Uh, Pirates, this is the big match. Pirates and Adelaide Hills at Pirate Park. We'll just talk about that in a minute. And Adelaide Cobras are at home to Cumberland. Another big match, Donald. Yeah, that, that Cobras Cumberland game is a vital game because both of them had had uh, hiccups. They're going well, then they, they falter. And I think uh, looking at the quality of both sides, anybody can jump into that top five position. I think that is a, a vital game for both of them and they can't afford to lose uh, any more games. As I said earlier, these teams have all played nine, three wins, three losses and three draws. Nobody wants to be the, playing their tenth game without four, four defeats against them. So I think that's going to be a tough one. I would uh, tip to win it, Cumberland. And Pirates and Adelaide Hills, another big match. If Pirates win, they can go up with Adelaide Hills. Absolutely. I'm going to see that game, in fact. I think it'll be an absolute cracking game because the two sides battling for the championship and I think it's going to be a classic. Uh, Johnny Mank has done another coach who's done a fantastic amount of work. Not only this year, many years in the, in the past, Johnny Mank has worked tirelessly for the club. They've got the McFadgen boys, they've got a lot of good players there and they will put, push Maxie's boys all the way. But... Beware of Nathan Elliott, mm, the big striker definitely. up the front. He can yes. score a lot of goals. 16 goals last year. I think he's got about eight this year. He'll definitely be one to watch. And uh, I, get, I reckon that'll be a classic match. Both him and Ivanovic are pretty well even on goals here. So that's another two players yeah, that are scoring perfectly, Simon. Yeah, I, I, uh, looking at the fixtures, I'm predicting that all the home teams will get results this week in that league. Um, I hope the other clubs come prove me wrong because they don't actually affect our team's results. But uh, looking at the uh, way the table is at the moment and the way the form is uh, currently at, I'd say all the home teams should get results as well. Mm, be very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I think Western Strikers have been a bit of a disappointment. Yeah. I know you've got a great coach in Charlie Villani. I think, you know, they've got the players there, but again, it's a team that's worried with indiscipline, dare I say the word. I'd like to see the strikers get up there because I know a lot of the people involved, one man in particular, who's worked tirelessly for the club, uh, that's uh, Aggie, the president, and uh, I'd love to see them get up there, but the players have to pull their weight, and if mm. you don't pull their weight, you're not going to win games, and uh, I'd like to see the strikers up there. Yeah, most definitely. They've been very, very up and down this season. That's hopefully good luck to all the teams in the Premier League, and uh, we're going to come back in a moment with the State League, so uh, just let's hear for a few words from our sponsors. Stick with us. Here we go. All right. The world's greatest athletes all have one thing in common. They have a coach to bring out the best in them. A business coach can bring out the best in you and your business. Hi, I'm Greg Mildren. I can thoroughly recommend the Business Owners Coaching Program. It's great value, exciting, my business is better and my profits are up. For more information about the Business Owners Coaching Program, call the Inner West Business Enterprise Centre or visit our website. Adelaide Furniture and Electrical. Hey Joe, how do you keep the prices so low? Everything electrical is guaranteed. Adelaide Furniture and Electrical. Top of Port Road. Seven days a week. Here we go. Welcome back to Full On Football, we're just talking a bit of football here, but uh, yeah, this is the State League uh, segment and of course, or should I reintroduce my guests as well, Donald Campbell and Simon Catanzaro from Campbelltown City. As I said, State League, um, very, very interesting the State League, there's definitely two sides to the State League, those at the top and those at the bottom. It's an interesting league of course, West Adelaide Blues, what could you say about dare I say the word West Adelaide, because they used to be the icon of football here in South Australia, uh, predominantly of Greek origin of course, they were a wonderful club and it's great to see somebody getting a club up and running again because they contributed so much to Australian football and they were the first South Australian team ever to win the national championship so it's good to see them up and running and it's even better to see them at the top of the league. Most definitely and you know as we know in history they were one of the powerhouses of football and uh, it it is great to see that the two debutantes are sitting one and two on the ladder as we speak at the mm. moment. So, uh, you know, Simon, what could you, you couldn't ask for more than that. Absolutely not. And I know West Adelaide Blues, I know a few associates to do with the club, and they've got high ambitions to uh, obviously get into the top league in the next few years. But, I mean, Sassy, a bunch of young boys, and the young boy Monterosso seems to be scoring quite frequently. So I'm sure the, 
Super League clubs will be scouting for his services over the next few years if, if he wants to go down that way. And more than likely, a couple of them will be going to the Youth League, I would imagine. Mm, There'd be absolutely. two or three of them there that would be having their names jotted down for the team. So uh, it might be a very, very different team um, towards the end of the season.